What's up, everybody? It's your boy P. Back with another video. It's been a little bit. I've been handling some other stuff I need to take care of, but I'm back. Hop in with another video. Um, Want to get my reaction to the to the fights this weekend? We had some boxing. We had some MMA. Um, we had some sweet revenge this weekend. You know, first off, we had Dillian White versus um, Alexander Povetkin in the rematch. Um, the first fight, Dillian White, he dominated the first fight. He got wild. Got caught with a beautiful shot from Povetkin and got stopped. Um, tonight, it was kind of the same thing. Um, Dillian White dominated from round one. Um, dominated Povetkin, wound up getting a brutal knockout in round four. Um, he called out Deontay Wilder. That fight had been brutal for a while, Deontay Wilder and Dillian White. In the beginning, I wasn't really all that interested, but due to the circumstances now, it's not that bad of a fight. I think it'd actually be a pretty interesting fight, but um, like I said, Dillian White was able to exact his revenge on Alexander Beckham by stopping him around four. And that, that was a good fight, you know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, the UFC 260, the main event, Steve A. Miocic versus Francis Ngannou. That was the fight. Um, Steve A. Miocic, he's um, the greatest heavyweight champion in um, UFC history with four title defenses. He faced the beast tonight, Francis Ngannou. Big, strong, um, I mean, what can you say? This guy's a specimen, Francis Ngannou. He's big, he's strong, and we seen that he stepped his game up. And there's a very, very, very serious factor in the heavyweight division. He's a knockout artist. I mean, this this guy is, is brutal in the ring, but um, he wound up getting his rematch with Stipe Miocic, you know, that they faced each other for the first time a few years ago. Stipe dominated Francis Ngannou. You know, he kind of dominated him in the wrestling. He, and even in the striking, you know, Stipe did good in the first fight. But the, the, the wrestling was uh, Ngannou's undoing in the first fight. You know, his cardio and the wrestling. But um, for this fight, he actually was working with the welterweight champion of the world, Kamar Usman, who definitely stepped his game up. Who's very dominant force in, in the UFC right now. Um, he was working with Francis Ngannou. Both of these guys are from African heritage, and they connect in the way that only people from that background can connect. So those guys hooked up and they started working together and it really seemed to have helped out and gone you a lot, you know, working with Kamar Usman. But, um, you know, Francis came out, <laughs> took his time, was patient, didn't just bull rush like he normally does but you know stay patient and calm and just landed a jab <laughs> on Stipe and, and, and put him out with some ground and pound Be beautiful shot um, from Francis Ngannou um, I don't know man it, it, you know Francis is a good guy he's humble Stipe is a good guy. He's humble. You know, the better man won tonight. Um, so at this point, we're on to, to the next the next thing, which is possibly, you know, John Jones' heavyweight, heavyweight debut. Um, 
against Francis Ngannou, which is another super, super fight that um, I think would draw a lot of interest. You know, John Jones moving up to 205, the heavyweight being super dominant at um, 205, and now putting on good, healthy weight and moving up to heavyweight. Um, he could actually get the next shot at Francis, and that's the fight to make everybody wants to see that fight. And um, at the end of the day, you know, you're looking at MMA versus boxing, man. And I just got to say, you know, boxing, I'm a true boxing fan. I love boxing. But as of late, it, 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 it's very frustrating. I mean, you see UFC, they putting on big fight after big fight. If, if two people in the UFC say they want to fight and they gain a little interest, the fight happens. It's not that way in boxing. You know, we wait for fights for years <laughs> to happen in boxing, and that's that's a problem. It's frustrating and it's irritating when we see a sport like the UFC, a new sport like the UFC, which is probably a little over 20 years old, coming in and just consistently giving you fights, big fights that you want. You know, that's what the fans want, and um, boxing. You know, we are getting fights, but we're not getting the fights that we want. The big names, for some reason, just can't <laughs> come together. So, boxing is a little frustrating in, the, in that point. There's a lot of talking, Twitter Twitter battles right now, and not a whole lot of action. Um, it's giving openings for all these exhibition fights. Ben Askren versus the Paul brothers. I seen Steve Cunningham versus Frank Mayer. Um, all kinds of weird exhibition fights are going on right now. And I believe that's because we can't get the fights that we really want to see in boxing. So we're open to taking <laughs> other kind of fights. But, you know, boxing really needs to step it up and really put the pressure on these guys to make these fights that we want to see. Um, but... I just wanted to get my reaction to, you know, two of the fights this weekend. It really stood out to me. You know, it's nothing like Sweet Revenge and, you know, Dillian White and Francis Ngannou. Both definitely got their Sweet Revenge this weekend. Um, y'all hop in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about either fight. If y'all seen either one. Let me know what y'all think about the MMA versus boxing, you know, it, it bothers me because I'm a diehard boxing fan, I do like MMA, but, you know, I'm more of a boxing fan and I want boxing to, you know, get back on the square and, and represent the way that the sport is known to represent, you know, and, get, you know, show the fan why we, why we diehard and why we have so much love for the sport over the years, you know, but sport has to give us what we want you know the fans we've been supporting boxing forever you know so it's time for you know the fighters to give us what we want you know um but let me know what y'all think about that make sure y'all like the video subscribe share hit the notification bell like i say i've been i i haven't made a video in a while but you know i had to get back in my in my zone because it's something i like doing but um, that's all I really got for y'all. Let me know what y'all y'all thought about the fights this weekend. Let me know what fights stood out to y'all. There was a few other fights. You know, Sean O'Malley, um, Tyron Willie fought this weekend. Um, I think with some, some, some UK fights going on too. So it was a lot of fights going on this weekend. But let me know which fights stood out to y'all. But I do think the elephant in the room pretty much was the uh, Steve A versus um, Francis Ngannou um, fight. But um, y'all let me know what y'all think. And that's all I really got, man. Hope y'all doing all right, having a good weekend. It's your boy, P. Um, and I'm out. <laughs>